All right, part two. There is more. I wanted to make sure the lip sync was good on the last one. All right, how do we take a vector from Inkscape and get it into Photoshop? <clears throat> well, I haven't found a way to do that to where we can actually edit the paths, unfortunately. But uh, let's at least do this. So start again with deleting everything that we are that we are not planning to use so let's just have her file save as and we are going to save in EPS format this time and I'm gonna save it on my desktop just to make sure I don't lose anything <coughs> alright I'm gonna move that all right, so we have an EPS, now we have Photoshop. So interesting thing is we can't open, we can't import. What we do is we place Starblaze EPS. And of course you'll see it's not perfect. So depending on how you change things, but uh, notice I can still size it up fairly big. And we zoom in and uh, all the information is pretty much there. Everything is sharp. So depending on how you export things, you will either get good results or bad results. But everything is there. All the information is there and completely resolution independent. Uh, regardless of the background. So <clears throat> just take care of how you export things. And that's about it, because you can't really edit. Obviously, Photoshop recognizes that there are paths and that it can render them, but for some reason, it won't allow you access to them. That's just sorry, in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, other, other, that's it. Otherwise, that's about it. Uh, so, if you want to take a character, stick it in Photoshop, put it in, in front of a background you've made inside of Photoshop, I know I actually prefer Photoshop just because the pen tool does everything with just a few clicks if you want to change something it's just all right there I mean that's just me though if you do or don't it's up to you uh, but uh, I have been getting a little bit familiar with Inkscape at least I'm a little bit familiar with the hotcut the shortcut keys hot keys so um, thank you for watching again, and hopefully this will be as useful, even though it may not equal it may not be equally as useful as getting paths from Photoshop into Inkscape, which is I think a lot more useful. All right, thank you very much.